you want to know how we got in before Universal opens? So we woke up super early to catch the 6 a.m. train to Nishikujo. At Nishikujo, transfer to Sakurajima Line going to Universal City. This is a 7 a.m. situation at the gates. Today, the park will open at 9.30 a.m. If you brought some drinks or food, make sure to gulp them up while waiting because they are not allowed inside. We got in around 8.30 a.m. We are super excited and we have an hour before the park opens. Honestly, there wasn't as much people as we expected there to be. So I guess January is a good month to go. But it's so freezing and windy so you gotta leer up. We headed straight to Super Nintendo World, which by the way, we didn't buy any tickets for. One of the perks when you're able to enter Universal Studios before opening time is you can run all the way to Super Nintendo World, ride Koppa's Challenge, Yoshi Adventure, and try Kenopio's Cafe for free. That's right, and the best part, you get to skip the long waiting lines. First things first, we lined up to ride Coppa's Challenge. It took us around 30 minutes, even if the line was moving. There are a lot of cool and nostalgic things to see. They also gave us this cool Mario caps. You'll find out what they're for when you get to your card. No spoilers here. And finally, here we are at the pit stops. Next up, we rode Yoshi Adventure. It was a very fast 20 minute wait for us. At this point, we pretty much accomplished two rides in about one hour. We wanted to check out Kinopio's cafe, but the lines were so long, so after taking photos around Super Nintendo World, we went straight to Harry Potter World. As much as we wanted to get butterbeer already, we had to rush to the Harry Potter ride, which is my favorite by the way. It took us more than an hour wait but it was so much worth it. After the ride, there was still so much excitement and we couldn't get over it. Okay, so now we are going to the Butterbeer Station near Hogwarts Castle because there is a long line at the other one near the entrance beside the tree. Finally, we got some Butterbeer. Welcome to Hogwarts. It's a beer. Well, for so long. Nice beer. <laughs> nice beer. You can go for hot or cold butter beer. It's 600 Japanese yen for the disposable cup and 1,100 yen for the plastic souvenir mug. Yes, we also went on the flying dinosaur, but at this point, I was just so nervous and so cold to even film our ride. We had lunch at the Jurassic Park area. At around 2 p.m., we stayed near the entrance to get a good view of the parade. We 
decided to go home. I wanted to go to the Minion ride, but it was just getting colder. Zero degrees exactly at this time. Overall, we got a good experience of our day one studio pass, which we booked via club, by the way, for 3,275 pesos before coming to Japan. Just like us, you can get so much value with the regular pass as long as you come early. It was snowing when we got back to Osaka, and there's still plenty of time to eat, shop, and drink. Happy birthday! Happy anniversary! 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 Happy anniversary!